Welcome back to season two of Cole's Notes. Today we are calling KY the creative, also known as Kofi. He is a fantastic cinematographer and incredibly smart when it comes to business. So let's see what his best advice is. Yo. Hello. <laughs> I think my best tip is gonna be expanding on education. Cause I think what ends up happening, like when you're in your creative process, stuff like that, when you get into a groove, you feel like you know everything. What ends up happening is I kind of hold you back, right? You won't allow yourself to learn new things. And it's weird because like we spend so much money on like education, like university or college, but we don't really invest into like what things that we're actually going to use. So my best advice would be like, if there's a course that you want to take, or there's a mentoring opportunity that you have with somebody is invest into those things. Because if you're willing to do that for something like a university degree for something you may not even use, then what you can get back from you putting a fraction of that towards educating yourself as a creator is going to make you that much better. Give maybe like a personal example of what you did or like even shout out like a course that you took. 2021, I maybe had, sp I spent a hefty amount of money on courses. But uh, some of the ones that I really liked was I took the YC Imaging Free of Freelancing when that came out. Um, I did the Learn Cinematography by Jacob Owens. And I'm also right now in the Art of Documentary with Mark Bone and Mike Del Monte. Those all gave different things about, they all give me like different skills about what I want to do as a creative that's helped me out a little bit. And some people might think that you're going to buy like one course and your life's going to change, but you have to buy or you have to at least invest or research a bunch of different disciplinaries of things and some things that like you might not even consider what would be useful to you. So even something like finding out how to make a YouTube space, like a Becky and Chris type of channel, not necessarily makes you better at making your own YouTube space, but it helps you with art direction when you are doing your own cinematography. So those are kind of the top three classes that I use, but always use something that's free if you can't afford it, like YouTube or anything like that. Uh, Skillshare is a really great resource as well if you want to learn a bunch of things as well. Courses you maybe not necessarily would have thought that you would take would actually help you, like multidisciplinary, like you're talking yeah. about. If you wanted to do something like art direction, it never hurts to do and go and explore and like learn about other aspects of the industry or even on the business end, right? You're very business heavy on your side, at least 50-50 business and creative. If you're a creator that's trying to go full time, you have to be an entrepreneur. Like you don't necessarily, like the choice isn't oh, like isn't as available anymore to not have both skill sets now. Um, I lucked out because I, I went to business school before I picked up a camera. So like I had a lot of those disciplinaries beforehand, but I think what ends up happening is when people kind of go creative first, they lose sense of the business side of things. And how do they get the most longevity out of what they want to do and how do they continue to do what they're trying to do so yeah and being a full-time creative is that's it's a lot of work so to know the business side and to like be yeah. comfortable with the amount that's coming in every month and like to know that your art is actually paying you is like very fulfilling so to have both sides is super key but thank you very much for your tip i'm so excited see ya see ya bye follow along because we're posting every sunday